Today we are talking about Paladins. Isn't Paladins that game that died after OB64? That game that no one really wants to play anymore because it has this pay to win system? Yeah, exactly that game. And that game recently got a new executive producer, being Hyrus Chris, formerly working on Smite, which most of you here should be familiar with. What does that matter? Because basically the moment he came into Paladins, he decided to take the steering wheel and turn it around 180 degrees. Cards Unbound will no longer exist in its current state, effectively meaning that what was introduced in OB64 will be gone. There was a lot of criticism coming Hyra's way in various forms, the last version was on Reddit via memes, and for some reason, which we cannot absolutely tell, it might just be Hyrus Chris deciding that this was the way to go and having enough of a voice in the company to decide that this was the way to go, or it might have been some other reason, but Hyrus decided to take a new path again. And that not only applies for Cards Unbound, but also Paladin's Battlegrounds. But let's not get ahead of ourselves and actually go through what Hyrus Chris has to say. Looking solely at the metrics, the Card Unbound system introduced in OB64 has actually been successful in increasing our overall player engagement and new user conversion, while at the same time helping increase our revenue per player. I think there are a few interesting things to note in that context already. We know that obviously the revenue has to go up in a system that forces spending more on the game. We also have seen on the Steam charts that the game's actually not been dropping too hard and it still has a solid player base, though not the same player base that it once had. And obviously through this whole drama surrounding OB64, a lot of people that hadn't heard of Paladins previously had heard about it and maybe checked it out for the first time and actually liked it. So. Every drama can also lead to some new players as well. On top of all that, Card Unbound was also highly populated because it was the primary mode when you got into the game. You basically got pushed into the system where you would play the Unbound modes and as such it would have a decent popularity for a while and apparently it did. So it's not completely surprising that the game didn't die immediately, but clearly there's still some things wrong and Harris Chris goes on to talk about that. However, we are not blind. We know the system has angered many of our most loyal fans and become a point of continuous contention in the Paladins community and even inside of Hyres. Not on that, there was actually an IGN article about that, how some employees were really upset about that apparently but couldn't speak up about it. Your voice has been heard loud and clear. Our team will be working over the next major release cycle to remove Cards Unbound from the game. We will be replacing it with a new system that I believe the community will be really excited about including the reintroduction of the deck building point system and a method for obtaining cards that will be way less grindy. We want the focal point of the card system in Paladins to be about fun ways to customize your champion to your favorite playstyle. We also want to unify the competitive and casual experiences with the card system so that we use the same system for both. No more separation of bound versus unbound. We're still working out the details of the new system, but the rough outline of our current thinking is as follows. Note, subject to some change, but hopefully this communicates the general direction we want to head. Legendary cards will now be called talents. Talents will only have a single level. Talents will be unlocked for free by earning XP and gaining champion levels. For example, level 1, 5, 10, 15. All champion cards will now be free. No cost or grind. Deck creation will return to a point system where players can distribute 15 points across the 5 cards they select for their loadout. Each champion card will have 5 ranks to choose from. This I think is very good because it brings it back to the old system and how you can specialize your character by choosing the points for your loadout, which I always preferred and which always made more sense in the whole card system for me personally. Talents will not have ranks and are not included in the loadout point cap. Talents and decks will continue to be chosen at match starts to allow players to tailor their play starts based on their opponents. New talents will be added over time and give further varied play styles. Champion mastery will no longer be kept at level 25. Instead, it will work similarly to player account leveling, which has no cap. Card chest will be removed from the game. We are evaluating the best options to compensate players for their previously earned cards and hope to share details soon. The release plan is to start testing this new system as soon as we can on PTS, hopefully next week. Your analysis and participation will be very important over the next few weeks as we work the kinks out of this design and deliver the best possible product to you in the next update. 
Quick take on this from my side. I think these changes sound very good so far. Now, it's always a question of what we see in the beginning and what the end result is, but so far it sounds very much like the pay to win part will be gone. The financial aspect is gonna be interesting. We're gonna have to see how Hyrus actually makes more money again if they say they get made more money with Unbound or they have to make some way to make more money. Maybe they go more in the direction of Smite where there's more customization overall, maybe like team support and flex and whatnot. We'll see about that. That's gonna be interesting. But generally speaking, a lot of this already goes the way that I'd like it to be and makes me more interested in the future of Paladins again after I kind of dropped the game when OE64 hit and I felt like the Unbound system really didn't encourage any more play of the game. But that's not all. Paladins Battlegrounds is also addressed. Thank you so much to everyone that has been helping us test Battlegrounds over the past few weeks. First on a public test server, then starting yesterday in a larger scale alpha running in the main game client. The job our team has done on this mode in such a short time is incredible. And I first want to give a huge shout out to employees that have really rallied around and embraced this new way to play Paladins under seemingly impossible deadlines. After seeing the results of our recent external testing and some exciting internal tests of additional changes to the mode, we've decided to make a few changes in regards to Battlegrounds. We are going to remove the alpha version of Battlegrounds from the core Paladins game effective tomorrow. Over the next few weeks, we are going to make a number of aggressive changes to the mode that, based on internal testing, we think will make it considerably more engaging and fun. Our codename for these changes inside the studio has been YOLO, if that gives you any indication of what lies ahead. Hopefully, you will enjoy them as much as we have in our internal testing. When we re-release the mode, it will be in a separate game client under a different name. The mode will have the current map and some of the elements from Paladins, as well as some significant changes. But it will be relaunched as a new game. We expect it to be free to play with monetization around skins and visuals. We hope to start a public testing of an early alpha mode of this game as soon as we can, aka within weeks. Why make this change? In short, we think that the things that are necessary to make Paladins Battlegrounds great and amazing are in conflict with the things that make the original version of Paladins that we all know and love great. Right now, we're in a spot where the changes we need to make to each mode are in conflict with what the other mode needs. We think that having separate team focus on separate games will produce a greater result. We also don't want users to be confused about what Paladins is and should be. Paladins should be the best damn hero shooter ever made, and we want the Paladins team focused on that goal. We'll aim to do the same with the Battle Royale game and the team working on that. Again, I think that's also a very good decision. I think a hero shooter battleground themed game has a very good shot still, even with Fortnite blowing up so much. I think it's its own niche, but it doesn't fit into Paladins. If you've played the Paladins battleground modes, then you know that certain characters will not work in certain modes. If you, for example, play a tank, some of them don't even have a way to close the distance to their opponents within the battlegrounds areas. and you're really just a sitting duck until you die. Whereas in other game modes in Paladins, they are super important and very useful. So really, I think it's great to split that up. Keep the hero concept, but make your own characters for each game and separate them entirely so they're not even in the same client. So somebody who wants to play the Battlegrounds game doesn't have to download Paladins as a whole as well for that. And then we also have some points regarding the future. If you missed the patch notes show earlier this week in which I introduced myself, let me reiterate our goals for Paladins in 2018. Listening to your concerns and being as transparent as possible in addressing those concerns. Always an important point, transparency is key. We know that in the gaming world for quite a while now. Releasing high quality updates, part of our commitment to implementing those quality of life issues, I think this is meant to mean improvements that you all have been asking for. Ensuring that we listen to both the PC and console players equally. Improving the art quality of our game. Adding fun content exploration events like Smite has done for years. I don't know if that's the best idea, but oh well. Continuing to improve and position Paladins as a world-class shooter experience. Never losing focus on what makes the game great. Focus, focus, focus on the core game experience and the core community for the competitive hero shooter game we all love. 
We made great strides in Smite over the years while I was on the team focusing on those goals. And I know that we can catapult Paladins to the next level doing the same here. I believe the changes the detailed above will move us very positively in this direction. We want to make Paladins as awesome as often experienced for our players as possible and thank you again for sticking with us and being passionate about the game. Oh, before I forget, we have really been enjoying the art that you all have been producing and posting on the Paladin subreddit and it has inspired us. We have some great artists among our players, we should do some sort of community vote and get some of the best art pieces into our games as sprays. Just a thought, let me know what you think in the comments below. Tune in tomorrow, or rather now it's today, at 1pm we will be going over more details on the Dev Inside show. For those of you watching when this video comes out, this will be one hour after this video has released, so you can tune in on Twitch TV slash Paladins Game for more details on these changes. It is at 1 p.m. EST or at 7 p.m. CET. And as a last note from me, I know I'm somebody who is usually very skeptical about changes and I will give you the same advice in this very case. Listen to the changes on the patch notes, hear what exactly it is and see how good it is. But at the same time I can say that what we've seen in Smite as of late is probably at least partially high risk Chris work. And seeing that he was moved over to Paladins to basically help that game out, to me personally, is a very good sign because I think that based high risk Chris can help solve these problems if he has the goal to push it in the same development way that Smite has gone with the recent season, which has seen a lot of great updates overall. Realistically, in most regards, the game has gotten a lot better. And with that, thank you guys very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this. If you enjoyed this, and I enjoyed this, then we enjoy this, and we all enjoy it together. Oh, and you can subscribe too, by the way, if you want to. That, that's also a thing, because you could enjoy the subscription as well. Who knows? See you for the next one tomorrow. Duke Sloth, out. So I actually figured out my demonetization issue, and it was my outro. As such, feel free to click any of the links around here right now. There will be new outro music as soon as I find something nice. Until then, as you guys requested, I will do the outro music myself. You're welcome.